Hi guys, Linda here. Now, I'm going to leave a video in the description box, and I think everybody should watch it. It's only 15 minutes long, and it's it's on a walk to, it's from 1978, and it was on the longest walk to Alcatraz, which is, um, belongs to the Native Americans. So, um, and on their way, they were trying to, I mean, some might have held a grudge, but most of them were trying to interact with the community outside Native Americans, saying that we're all together on this earth and we've got to you know learn how to get along because for future generations the corporations and the government's going to destroy all of us and so you'll see that in that video and it's awesome it's just awesome video to watch but um the the longest walk is going on again and i think i i'm not sure i'll leave a link where they are and they're they're struggling because they're not rich and they're trying to do this walk so if anybody's in that area i think they may be in ohio today please help them out a little bit really seriously bring them some food or water or whatever you can i mean it i mean they're not asking for money i mean they could probably use a little gas money or a gas card um because you know but they're walking and they have someone following you know they've got to sleep they can't just keep walking so it'd be nice just to help them out now another thing I, i'd like to read i hear about the founding fathers all the time first of all the constitution came from the iroquois confederacy they just left out the most important parts which included your voice and my voice um, even though it sounds all nice and sweet in the constitution we don't all have a say. We have to elect people to say things on our behalf, and they usually don't say anything on our behalf. And the Constitution of the Iroquois Confederacy, everyone has a say. And um, actually, the women hold titles to the land, and the women will decide if there's war or not. Um, so they're actually, it's the constitution of the Iroquois nation is the great law of peace. And that's what the constitution of America was supposed to be about. And the UN has adopted the same thing, but they use this hierarchical patriarchal, um, it's almost like a militarization system, and they corrupted the true constitution so you can say the act of say 1871 did this well no that's not true because the virginia title company owned everything anyway before that act um so you know they they had already look great britain was already in cahoots even after the um revolutionary war happened um they were already over here staking land claims just like the french came in you name it, there were so many wars. This Indian War is still continued. Now I'm going to read a couple of quotes of what a few people said. And and a couple of your found one of them is your founding father. And um and then I'm gonna leave the description to a video that everyone should watch because um it's like uh we're we're going backwards in time. They tried to the Indians tried to warn people in nineteen seventy eight about the destruction that the corporations were doing to this land and now and that that you it's that it happened to the indians it's going to happen to everybody and now that it is we have got to unite so i'm asking you people please help the people on the longest walk if they come across your area uh, but um here's a few quotations just so you guys know um have you ever heard that say, saying um um the only good Indian is a dead Indian. I believe that came from G General Sheridan. I think that's who said that. Um, also, the immediate objective are to the total destruction and devastation of the settlements. It will be essential to ruin their crops to the ground and prevent them planting more. And that's George Washington, and he's talking about the Indians. The unfortunate race, whom we had been taking so much pains to save and civilize, had by their own unexpected desertion and ferocious barbarities justified extermination and now await our decision on their fate. Thomas Jefferson. Okay, here's another one. The settler and pioneer 
have at bottom had justice on their side. This great continent could not have been kept as nothing but a game preserved for those squalid savages. Theodore Roosevelt. I'll leave that. I'll leave that link to you for you. But um, I'm actually going to leave the longest walk, and I want you to really watch the video from 1978. Like I said, it's only 15 minutes long, and you'll see the uranium that they were doing. See, the Indians are sovereign, and they own the rights to their land, yet the corporations in 1978 were going in and doing this stuff. And uranium, the, the depleted uranium or whatever uranium was left over is just blowing there. And the people were living in it, the Native Americans. And now, of course, we know what they're doing. And they even bring up oil and stuff in this video. But now you see how much they're doing. They are just totally, we've got Agenda 21, the America 2050s project. And you can just go on and on and name these things that they're, they're doing to all of us. So everyone's on the reservation. Um, I'm going to leave links below. So um, if you, you're in the area where the longest walk's going again, help those people out. Join them. They would love it. Absolutely. They are trying to you night everyone it is not for us it is for the future generations that they don't have to live under this corrupt control hierarchical matriarchal militarization control system where we can all walk free peace love and truth always linda